hello treasures welcome back to the channel this is dr bisa's corner where everything about you is treasured your spirit your soul and your body so today we are continuing with our series healthy seeds the seeds that are healthy for consumption these seeds if incorporated in the right quantity consistently in our foods can help decrease our risk our risk of getting some diseases like cardiovascular diseases which stroke hypertension is among inflammatory disease even diabetes and some cancers so today we are going to be discussing flax seeds flax seeds last week we talked about some flax seeds so if you've not watched that video do well to watch it and if you're wondering where you can get these seeds please we have a an online store the whatsapp link is on the description of this video you can do well to chat us up and we'll help you get these seeds if you so need them remember what we usually say do not start taking these seeds if you already have a health condition that requires that you're already on treatment then you have to carry your healthcare provider along with you while taking this this um why incorporating these seeds into your food and remember you need to eat them in the right um, amount in order to get their benefits so today we are talking about flax seeds flax seeds are also known as lean seeds they're also known, known as lean seeds they are actually so tiny i don't know whether we can see it should i pour it in my hand they're so tiny i have the brown type it has two varieties it has the yellow or the golden flax seed this one is so beautiful it's so beautiful but is not readily available it's so pleasing to the eye we also have the brown flax seed which is the one i just showed you that one too is more available at least that's the one i have seen in our climbs here in nigeria so that one is really available and there is really no different no big difference between the nutritional content of these two varieties so anyone you get you are good to go now flaxseed has been said to be one of the most powerful plant food is one of the most powerful plant food and this is because it can actually prevent or reduce the risk of someone that's developing cardiovascular diseases. Remember when we say reduce the risk, is that the person has not developed it yet. So it can reduce the risk very well, significantly. Also, it can re um, reduce the risk of development of diabetes, hypertension, and even some cancer. So this is how good flaxseed is. Now, flaxseed owes its functions to three major components. That it has three major components that actually does these things. And there are three of them. Number one is this our omega-3 fatty acids. It contains alpha linoleic acid, which is very good. It is heart protective. So this is very, very good for the heart. It protects the heart. It also contains what we call lignans. These lignans uh, are composed of antioxidants and estrogen. Uh, it's an estrogen too, a plant um, estrogen, a plant source of estrogen. We know that estrogen is the hormone that is more dominant in women. So this, um, this thing, this flaxseed contains it. That's why it's actually very, very good in the treatment of some cancers like breast cancers. Now, Another thing that this flaxseed does, it, it, it say that it contains more antioxidants, like about 75 to 800 more oxy antioxidants than any other plant. Can you imagine? Then finally, it contains fiber, and fiber is so good for our gut health. It's so good for our intestines. That's what gut health means. So these fibers it has both soluble and insoluble fibers, and this helps in us helps us to move our ball well and every other thing that it does now what are the benefits of flaxseeds flaxseeds like we earlier established contains omega-3 fatty acids and also lignans and we said that it helps in decreasing the uh, risk of development of certain cancers like prostate cancer breast cancer and even colorectal cancers because of these substances that it contains another thing it does that's number two benefit of flaxseed is that it helps 
in preventing cardiovascular diseases. It can help reduce blood pressure. It can help decrease the chances of someone getting stroke. It can also decrease the chances of um, this thing, decrease cholesterol in the body. That's the bad cholesterol in the body. Also, it has, it contains some substances that will help avoid plague in the arteries. That's plague that's sticking together of white blood cells and this is also what predisposes people to stroke. Also, it also contains substances that can prevent the hardening of arteries which will also lead to high blood pressure and ultimately stroke. Okay, number three benefit of flaxseed is that it also decreases the risk of someone getting diabetes or developing diabetes because it helps in insulin production or it helps in the body, it helps the cell to release insulin. Number four, it also helps in decreasing hunger. Like I said, remember it contains fiber, so it decreases your ability to feel hunger because it gives you satiety because of that fiber it contains. And this also helps those that want to lose weight. Number five, it has, it prevents the release of some inflammatory edges. Remember, like I said, in a layman's um, word, inflammation has to do with swelling of any kind. It's one of the major characteristics of inflammation. There is swelling, there is redness, and other things that are produced. So, flaxseed helps in decreasing the release or preventing the release of some inflammatory Agents. Our inflammatory diseases include arthritis, any of form of the arthritis, osteomyelitis, and all that. So it helps in preventing it. Also very good for our digestive system. Remember, it contains fiber, and fiber is very excellent for our digestive system. And remember, we said it can help prevent colorectal cancer. That's cancer that has to affect some part of the digestive system. Another thing it does is that it helps in reducing the signs and symptoms, some of the major signs of symptoms of menopause, which is hot flushes in females. So it helps reduce this thing. Remember, it contains is a is a is a is it contains plant-based estrogen, which is also needed in that time at that age in women. Another thing it does is that it helps. It contains is rich in protein. So for those that are vegetarians that don't take animal foods, feeds. Actually, they can depend on flaxseed for more good proteins because it is rich in. Protein. Now, how can flaxseed be taken? How can flaxseed be taken? It is very easy. This one, remember, I have showed you what it looks like. But it's best... I don't know that we can see it. It's so tiny. So, it's best taken in powdered form. So, like I have the seed form here. You can just mill it. Mill it that using the dry part of the blender to mill it. Then when you mill it, you take it in, you can use a spoon, a teaspoon, and just put it in your juice, your water, and drink it. You can add it to your cereals, you can add it to your baking, you can decide um, if you want to use maybe four cups of flour to cook, you can decide to make flax seed flour, half of it is still the same thing, you just blend it and add it to your baking. You can even decide to add it to the food you cook every day by adding one or two or three spoons depending on how many people you are, you are feeding. Mm, from my research they said if you have to serve like six to eight people you can add like four to six spoons of flaxseed to the meal. So these are, very, in fact, you can go to town using it because you can use it as just one of your seasonings and it is very good. You can decide to just take it as a tea and add it to your warm water. It's both soluble and insoluble fiber. So when you've ground it, you've still helping your digestive system to digest it. So it, it, when, it, when you it take it in ground form, it helps you to, it makes you benefit more from this power food. Remember, it's a very powerful food. So it helps you benefit more. That's why in blended form is better because to allow your body to absorb every nutrient that it contains. That is why it's so good to eat it in blended form. Now, who are those that shouldn't take flaxseed? Women that are breastfeeding or women that are pregnant. It's advised that they do, they shouldn't take 
flax seeds they shouldn't take flax seeds in any form the of flax seed um, the storage is very important if as whole seeds you can store them in a dry and dark area as in a dry room room temperature for the seeds like this but if they're in ground form it's advised that you store them in the refrigerator in the freezer and when you are storing them it should not last more than a year you understand so that you make sure you get everything you want that's it about the storage of flaxes now before i end this video i want to remind us it's not all about eating superfoods it's about us intentionally making decisions to incorporate to eat right every day to make eating right uh, a lifestyle and this will help you it makes it it makes you not to see it as a burden you, you understand you don't see making healthy food choices as a burden because you have now turned it to a habit and the right lifestyle i hope you enjoyed this video please if you have any questions do well to drop them in the comment section and if there's any other ideas or any other thing you want us to talk about on this channel do well to drop them in the comment section till i come your way next week i am dr obisa and remember your speech soul and body matter so much to me so subscribe if you've not subscribed and turn on your notification bell